Um, well, thank you all for uh, attending our uh, monthly uh, general membership um, a meeting. Uh, my name is uh, Huri Hadgu. I am the uh, president of uh, uh, PDHC, Progressive Democrats of Howard County, for uh, and for this year. Um, happy to be here uh, today. Um, and uh, uh, we're gonna uh, just uh, just by way of introduction, uh, PDHC uh, is a community organization that stands for accountability and transparency at all at all levels of government. Uh, we promote uh, progressive principles and policy and educate the community and advocate for a government that represents the public good by building a people-powered uh, movement. Um, and we are uh, committed to advocating for compassion-based policies that benefit all members of the community and transparent, uh, uh, and transparent leaders who are accountable to the people, uh, not to not to profit-driven special interest groups. Um, and we welcome uh, anybody uh, who espouses these values, uh, regardless of their party affiliation, uh, because I think uh, accountability and transparency at local government, uh, state government, and uh, you know, I'm all of the government is a shared right interest. I got it. Thank you. Um, hey, just, Penny uh, and Parker, come clean up. Clean up your mess. Uh, if uh, Karen, if uh, if you, uh, I got it. Yeah. So, uh, just uh, it, um, make sure that you have your microphone muted, um, and uh, that way. Uh, okay. Thank you. Um, all right. So uh, this is you know uh, we have a very. I, you know, I think I'm hoping that we're going to have a very brief um, general membership uh, meeting. This is our typical agenda uh, for your information. Um, we, we, so uh, I, you know, I don't have any, you know, uh, like personal updates, uh, but for treasurer's report uh, over the since last month, we had $108 in revenues. These are membership dues, um, and uh, we had um, 78 cents in in in, in um, expenses. It's that's the Venmo expense, uh, and uh, that leads us to a checking account balance of uh, $1,789.68. and and a Venmo balance of uh, $757.60 to a total of $2,440.06. Um, I, uh, I wanna go through the usual request of, uh, if, you're, if you're an existing member, we ask that you renew your membership. Uh, you can do so by sending uh, a check or using Venmo. Um, we'll, we'll go through how to do that. We'll, we'll, we'll show the address in, in, a, in a little bit. Um, we have a uh, we have a couple of change.org petitions that we are circulating um, that that's worth your attention. The first is uh, this is really due to uh, it came to our, our, our attention that, um, in the past, uh, I think five years, uh, um, I think it was like 2021 or 2020, um, the county announced two buildings uh, and named two buildings after uh, um, two previous um, male county executives, uh, former county executive Ken Ullman and uh, uh, former county executive um, uh, Ed Cochran. Um, and uh, many of you know that um, uh, former county executive Liz Bobo is uh, the first female county executive in the states and the county's history. And um, it, it was, you know, it, we noticed that, you know, there has not been similar, um, you know, uh, honors uh, for, you know, to, to, the, to the first county executive, female county executive in the states um, and county's history. And we think, you know, that's a major inequity that needs to be um, addressed. Um, if um, 
I think to our knowledge, um, and check the petition because the the uh, I think the pre, all pre almost all previous county executives, I think all previous county executives, male county executives have had have had a building named after them. Something or another has been named after them to to honor their service. And so the question is, why not uh, Liz Bobo? So uh, I think uh, you know uh, would be nice to to address that and. Uh, I'll share the petition in a little bit, or someone can track, you know, can find it really quickly. If you could share it on the chat, uh, if you haven't signed it, please sign and share it with your with your network. Um, another another petition that we're circulating is uh, on uh, the general plan. Um, <clears throat> it has had a it has had a, a positive impact. This petition in that we are requesting that the county has a plan for schools. Uh, the general plan, as you know, is the 20 year uh, vision of the county on how much, how many homes or residential development, commercial development, uh, other infrastructure we want in this county. And in, in this very important document, uh, schools are, uh, are an afterthought. Um, and um, so we wanted, we wanted a chapter specifically for schools. How are you going to address uh, underperforming schools, how are you going to address systemic renovation needs which are which exceed over you know half a billion dollars for the school system and how are you going to address school overcrowding and uh, the the county published something uh, but it's it's really just you know um, you know just puppies and kittens kind of you know thing rather than actual, you know, substantive things that the county will, will, you know, substantive actions that the county will take to, uh, to, uh, to address, uh, you know, school infrastructure. And so we're still not done. And we want, you know, we want the county to, uh, um, you know, to provide uh, some a substantive solution there. So that's why we have this petition. Um, and I'll share that uh, with, with, with you uh, as well, or someone can track it down, please share it on, in the chat. Um, related to the general plan, um, the, co the county council has, you know, has started um, uh, conducting work sessions. That is, they're reviewing the general plan right now. They're talking to the, to the county administration, department of planning and zoning about the general plan. So. Uh, in fact, yes, to, this morning they had a meeting and last week, Wednesday, I believe they had another meeting. Um, and, um, you know, it's, ve it's very troubling uh, what, you know, what they're talking about is, you know, um, a lot of just really troubling things in terms of um, the financial projections. Um, and, uh, you know, I won't go into too much detail on that, but um, we're, you know, if this, if this plan goes passes in its current form, uh, we're, we're in a lot of trouble. And, and pe the people that are gonna get um, hurt the most are, uh, you know, people that, you know, uh, of, uh, from low income uh, communities. And, um, you know, it, ultimately it, it's, it looks like the county wants to create a society of uh, renters. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, it's, it's just, you know, not, I think there are people who need you know, who want to be able to just, you know, rent because that's what they want to do. But I think, you know, they just wholesale want to just address housing through renting. And, you know, uh, that's very troubling. Um, so just, you know, keep an eye out on that. And, uh, you know, we'll go into more detail in the future about the general plan. Um, and uh, a reminder uh, that, the next uh, county council meeting will be held on Monday, April 3rd at 7 p.m. That's their monthly meeting. They, they, they vote on bills and introduce new legislation on Monday. So the first, um, uh, I believe, Monday of the month is when that um, takes place. Um, at, at this point, I, I also wanted to recognize uh, our club uh, testified on uh, the bills uh, called CB 11 2023, which is a uh, which was a bill introduced by council members um, 
um, uh, Opal Jones and Christiana Rigby, uh, which was intended, which is intended to essentially dismantle the county auditor's independence uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, evaluating the, um, you know, the county finances, uh, audit, you know, auditing the county, various departments, uh, performing, con you know, conducting investigations. <laughs> And uh, our um, uh, wanted to uh, shout out to um, uh, Kiana Folk, who, who gave an excellent testimony. Uh, it's posted on our um, uh, on our uh, Facebook page uh, for those who want to listen to it. Um, I thought it was delivered uh, really great, and she managed to um, uh, you know um, she handled you know some of the so some of the tough questions that were directed at her. Uh, very well. So, uh, kudos to uh, uh, to uh, to Kiana. Um, before I move on to the next slide, I wanted to recognize. I think we have uh, a, uh, a, a at least one uh, elected official uh, here. Uh, so, wanted to recognize uh, Delegate uh, Wu. Um, uh, state uh, State Delegate uh, Chao Wu, uh, welcome. Thank you, it's my pleasure to join this meeting. Um, and uh, I think that's 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 the only elected official. If if there's if there's someone that I missed, please let me know. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Uh, our meetings are typically held on the fourth uh, Monday of the month at 7 p.m. Uh, today we're holding it on Wednesday uh, to uh, uh, to accommodate uh, the you know the candidates uh, for the CA and Village uh, Board uh, races, um, and so uh, but normally we hold it on uh, the fourth Monday of uh, the month. So thank you for. Uh, everyone, everyone's uh, flexibility and attending, um, attending our um, uh, monthly meeting. Um, I mentioned earlier, if you are uh, an existing member, please renew your um, uh, your membership. Um, and if you're if you're not a member, our due structure is as follows. Uh, if you're for individual membership, it's thirty six dollars per year. Um, for um, um, for it, it, there's also a member plus one option, which is uh, fifty dollars uh, a year. So uh, it's it could be you and you know one other uh, uh, Hoko uh, resident. Um, and we also do you know we would we we also consider uh, grant waiver. Um, uh, dues waivers, uh, you know, three right. to six months on a case by case basis. And I mentioned earlier, you don't have to be a registered Democrat uh, to be a member. You just have to share the, you know, the common, you know, the just common sense values of transparency and accountability in, in government uh, and just seeking to elect good faith, um, you know, elect officials, whether you would disagree with them or not, just good faith officials who know you know, who are doing, who, who you're confident that they're doing uh, their, their level best. And when they say something, you know, they're not engaged in, um, you know, um, double speak, uh, just plainly speaking. Uh, and um, if you uh, would like, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can uh, send, um, a uh, you, you can you can uh, uh, use Venmo. Uh, our Venmo handle is uh, at Progressive Hoco, uh, or send a check to six eight zero one Oak Hall Lane, uh, number sixty five twenty three Columbia Maryland two one zero four five. So that's you know for membership to to be a member we do two things. One is the the, the monthly the 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 annual membership dues. And then we also do um, we we uh, also vote in existing uh, so the existing members vote in the new member, and uh, uh, we we do this because um, we're you know uh, 
there's there's a there's a long drawn out you know history of how PDHC was formed, but it's plainly it's you know just on like on a high level, it's just to ensure that um, it, it's um, um, to ensure that the person who joins is not some you know established uh, you know I I just I don't want to mince words some establishment political hack who you know, uh, is, is not interested in advancing, uh, you know, a, um, a transparent and accountable government. Um, and so uh, that's just, you know, why we're in, that's, that's, that's why we do this. Um, so to that, to, 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 you know, to that effect, we have, we're voting in two members uh, today. Um, one is uh, Lynn Faircold. Lynn, I'm sorry. If I, uh, the, I think okay, good. I thought I may, I may have messed up your your last name, but uh, it's good. Okay. Uh, and another one is um, Anna uh, Rubin, um, and uh, so both these uh, uh, individuals they've paid their. Uh, membership dues and uh, uh, they and so uh, we uh, want to vote them in uh, today. Is there anyone else who would like to be voted in today to be considered? Am I uh, am I already a member, uh, Hurry? Yes. Uh, is this is this uh, Bill? It is, sure is. Yeah, uh, yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, great. I, I joined recently. I just wanted to make sure that I had been through this part of the process. Thank you. I'm very excited yeah. to be part of the group. Yeah, I think you were at uh, uh, at your, uh, like the Hickory Ridge Village Board meeting that night because I think it's it coincides with that, you know, with that uh, meeting. So you, you, weren't, you weren't available, but uh, yeah, we, so uh, we voted. We voted you in. Oh, great, great, great! All right, do you don't, am I a member? Uh, Brian, I don't believe you are. Okay, I, I sent in the form. I just not need to pay the money then. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. saw your form, Brian. I just I actually just got the email saying new member submission. So we've got your form. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So we we can you know. Uh, we can vote vote you in uh, today, uh, Brian, and then you know, uh, well, however you send the the payment, you know, either by check or by Venmo, uh, we can do that at that time. Okay, sounds good. Okay, anyone else? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, very good. So, um, I'm I'm going to move uh, uh, that we vote in uh, Lynn Faircold, uh, Anna Rubin, and Brian England as um, members of uh, PDHC. Uh, do I have a second? Hey, it's Karen, I second it. Okay, so we have, uh, it's, we have a motion. It's been uh, seconded. Um, is there any discussion? You okay. said, is there a second? Yeah, they, so there yeah. was, uh, Jake, I'll, I'll uh, it was seconded by Karen, yeah. Oh, okay, what well, second? My bad. Thanks. Okay. So there's no, uh, seeing that there's no discussion, we can uh, go ahead and uh, and vote. Uh, just uh, if you're a member, if you're a member, I, you know, we have, uh, 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 um, I think if, even if you're, even if you're not a if you even if you're a member who has not renewed your membership, you can still vote in this through the end of this month. So uh, feel free to 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 send in, yeah, send in your uh, 
uh, vote through here, through the chat. Bill, you have a question? Uh, yes, I want to, uh, you know, there's a, we have uh, Jake really recruited a couple of new uh, participants in the community to run for village board, uh, Jared and Chris. I just want to see if they're members and if they would like to join at this time or if they are already members. Hello, everybody. Uh, no, I am not a, currently a member, I don't think. And uh, but I think I'm going to hold off at the moment before joining all the way up. Thanks. And this is Chris. Can you hear me? Can people hear me? Yeah, Chris. Yes. Yeah, okay. can hear you. yeah, I was planning to join. I just haven't had time, but I will do so. Sure. We'd love to have you. OK, so uh, Chris, uh, will you be uh, uh, would you like to be voted in today? Uh, that's fine. Uh, I should note the uh, I'm going to have uh, do the plus one, if you will, have my wife join as well. OK. Uh, OK, very good. So let's so let's uh, so we're, we're we will close off with this vote and then i'll 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 make a new motion or if some uh, if someone else can make a new motion i can make a new motion um so i move that we uh vote in uh chris uh smith as a, a new member to uh pdhc um is, do we have a second i'll second it okay do you want to vote Thanks, in your wife as well? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's we we can we can do that. Uh, it's 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 interesting because usually we, when we do like the member plus one, it's the member that like it's the person who uh, who puts in their information uh, that we vote in. But yeah, we can. Uh, Chris, uh, what's um, uh, what's what's your wife's uh, name? I it's okay just, if you uh, can't remember, Chris. No, <laughs> I was just having problems calling up the unmute or the mute button. Uh, Wendy Phipps, P is in okay. Peter, H I P P S. So three P's. Okay. 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 So uh, I will uh, amend my motion and say uh, we also vote in Wendy Phibbs um, as, as, a, um, as a member. Do I, have I, a, do I have a second? I second. Okay. Any discussion? Very good. Okay, so for, for uh, so we have already voted in uh, Lynn, Anna, and Brian. So this is for, for Chris, and uh, Wendy, so uh, vote uh, uh, send send in your votes. Okay. So as as that is uh, going on. I think uh, we're done with this section. Uh, are there any uh, committee updates? Okay. Uh, there being none. Um, so we will go to.